Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tammy. Glad to have you. <clears throat> Please consider subscribing to my family. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I just wanted to come on here. Today's video I'm super excited for because this is like <clears throat> right up my alley, of course, because it's my channel. But anyway, I'm going to do, I haven't decided how many looks yet, but I'm going to do basically like Chanel vibes, Dior vibes, uh, maybe some Prada and Gucci vibes without wearing any of their things minus maybe, maybe I'll throw in their purses or whatever. Hey, Unc, look, I'm wearing my mic. Um, anyway, so we're going to basically look bougie and luxury on a budget. And I'm going to show you if I can remember where I got all the things, because these things that, that I'm going to be wearing, I've had for a while. I'm just basically giving you like outfit inspiration and what makes that outfit look like Chanel or look like Gucci or, you know, whatever. And I'm going to give this Laura Mercier foundation another go. So bear with me while I get ready. I, I will spare you guys the detail or not the details, but I will spare you guys me putting my makeup on because I think you've seen that a lot of times. If you need an updated makeup tutorial video or you're struggling with anything, um, like your foundation or, you know, whatever, you're, if anything, God, ramble. Okay, so if you need an updated makeup tutorial, let me know and I will do a video for you on that. So I will be back with my makeup on and then we will get right into the outfit so that my video isn't three hours long. Guys, <clears throat> mm. I'm just so not really <sighs> sold on this Laura Mercier yet. Like, I want to love it, but it looks makeup y. Like, I know it's makeup, but it looks makeup-y. Mm. Anyway, all right, so let's get into the clothes because that's what this video is about. One day I'm going to do my hair, you guys. Y'all probably don't believe I'm a stylist, but one day I'm going to do my hair. All right, so <clears throat> let me be back, and I'm going to show you about the clothes we're going to put on for our first look. Take two. Okay, so this is our Chanel inspired outfit. We have on a tweed blazer. I think it's from A Buyer, which I think used to be a Penny's brand. I don't really know. We got some chunky jewelry on. And then, so Chanel does this like Camilla flower. Let me see if I can get down there. Okay, so this is a brooch that I actually made and I love. It's one of my favorites. And then I have a shirt from the Real Real Untucked into some, uh, like, I wouldn't necessarily call them bell bottom pants, but they are like, well, maybe, I don't know, flared or whatever. And the jeans I got from Amazon a couple of years ago. Sure, they still have them. The only reason why I don't recommend them is because the sizing is way off with them. Um, and I was going to put some very large statement earrings in, but my ear hole would not accept the jewelry today. And it's most likely because I really can't wear um, like costume jewelry too much. I mean, I can, but sometimes it'll mess with my ear hole. So anyway, this is our first designer mm, let's say dupe I don't know look alike our designer inspired outfit and I'm gonna pair it with this purse this is not Chanel and it is not trying to well I, I wouldn't say it's not trying to be Chanel because it's a boy bag but it's got the circles on it it's not like it doesn't have the replica because I know a lot of people like hate the replica I think it's more so maybe I don't know what you guys hate about it <laughs> like I don't think it's because it came from another country because a lot of our stuff comes from another country so maybe it's just because it's like stealing a brand's idea I don't really know I don't really like I said I don't really have a problem with that so I mean as long as it's not child labor laws or you know they're not making kids do it I don't care 
Um, okay, so this is the completed Chanel-ish vibes. And now we're gonna move on to the next. I wanted to give you guys like a close up, ooh, that is a bad angle, of the brooch. Super easy to make. I think I followed a YouTube tutorial. And then here's the makeup close up, of course, paired with the favorite braided hairband that I got either Amazon or TJ Maxx because that's where I stay. So there it is again. All right, outfit yeah. number two. These, this is like kind of giving me, I don't know, it's kind of giving me like Dior vibes. So I brought down the little mini over here, which I know this is like to look, the challenge is to look like you're wearing a brand without wearing a brand. So yeah, I'll just stick her over here. Don't mind that. Okay, so, but yeah, this, I don't know. For one, I am a fan of all black everything. Like, it just speaks to me. It slims you. It just, uh, I don't know, feeling that. And everything on me is, like, super cheap. Like, you can't get it again because a lot of stuff that I get, I get from the real, real, or when I'm out thrifting or just, you know, places like that. So, I can't link them because hey, I don't think you can get them again. But anyway, the point is you can go for like a leather looking kind of moto pair of pants and a long black shirt. This one is see-through. So obviously I have a cami under it and then just a black blazer. And yeah, I mean, and guys, I feel like the look would be so complete if I could get an earring through my ear, but I can't. But here's look number two, and I feel like this is kind of, I feel like this is just Dior vibes for me. Like, this would be, like, I would wear this outfit out. If this weren't a challenge, like, I would wear this outfit out. This would be my, this would be how I would wear it and style it with the little Dior trotter bag. I think that's what it is. I think it's vintage. Mine's vintage, I think, anyway. But this is how I would style that, and I think it's like, so chic and trust me it's not thousands or even hundreds of dollars for this outfit i love her Ooh, i need somewhere to go all right we'll be back with look number oh my gosh okay <laughs> so pattern mixing in the most incredible way ever this is my gucci inspired outfit if you guys don't follow gucci go follow them See what they do because they pattern mix to the heavens and everything is super gaudy and just out there and I'm here for it. I love it. Now, no, none of this is Gucci. This is just obviously Gucci inspired. If you saw my $20 outfit challenge, these are the pants. Um, but yeah, so I just took a silk shirt and or I don't know, satiny silk shirt, tucked it into them Got these shoes. Check out the heels on these shoes. I'm living. Okay, so one thing Gucci will do, um, I don't know how I feel about it, but one thing they do is they will um, put a track jacket, track suit jacket or whatever over it. So I'm about to do that. So I'll be right back. I'm not going to show you a shot of my toilet again. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. Like I def I have a little Gucci pin that I could pin to this, but we're not gonna do that because we want we wanna look like we're wearing a brand without actually giving away what we're wearing by a pin or you know what I'm saying, a label. So oh my gosh, and y'all saw this, this is a little Amazon jack uh shoot purse. Anyway, <laughs> how how Gucci is this outfit? Like, low-key, I would wear this, not with the track pant, track suit shirt, without the jacket, and without that purse. Like, I would literally wear this with, like, my actual real, um, oh gosh, let me not try that. Oh my lord. Y'all think I'm a mess? I am. But anyway, my point is, I would wear this outfit without this jacket and this backpack. Like, I would put my real Gucci purse on with it and rock this thing all day long because I am definitely a pattern mixing kind of girl. So I think that's going to be it 
for how to look like a certain brand and the tips are basically the tips to follow is find the colorings and the style of the brand that you want to emulate and then you can kind of look like you're rich and luxe without spending the big bucks so hope you guys enjoyed this video i certainly enjoyed making it and if you will please become part of my family and see all the shenanigans like share and subscribe and a little encouragement for the day it is to one's honor to avoid strife but every fool is quick to quarrel stay encouraged love you guys